So like many of you, I've got a Wi-Fi uh, signal at home, a wireless network, and like many of you, there are some blind spots within the house. So what I did, I bought a TP link and I flashed OpenWare Day on it. Um, this TP link you're currently looking at is my main router. Um, the next thing I wanted to do is create two access points within the house uh, so I could uh, enhance the, the range of the network. So I'm going to show you now how to create these access points in the latest version of uh, uh, Lucy, which is the web interface for OpenWRT. So this is the one I've got upstairs, which is already set up, but I'm going to reset it now just to show you how the complete thingy goes when you configure it. So reboot. Perform a reset. When the system has been erased, you will find a uh, open network, which is called OpenWare Day, but it won't give you an IP address. So you have to set it up manually. So I hope a network like OpenWRT will show here after reboot, uh, but I already know that it will. So we're gonna open network configurations network preferences. I'm on a Mac now but you can do this on Windows as well. You need to set up a fixed IP address. So the default IP address of the new router, uh, which it currently is, the reset uh, OpenVRT system is just functioning as a router, is uh, 0.1. So we're gonna set this to manual. So we don't want conflicting IP addresses, well, so we'll give it number two. This is going to be set, the router is on one, so we're going to be okay here. We're going to apply. By now I hope we'll find some open WRT signals. There it is. And it's currently stating that no password has been set up. So we log in. And first we're gonna set up a password. Um, for some reason in this version of Lucy, you have to do it twice. Save and apply. Configuration is applied. And now we are going to go to interfaces. You'll find multiple interfaces here. We won't have to reset the, web, uh, the password twice, by the way. Uh, we'll throw away these two because we won't be using them. Then we'll edit the LAN settings. Currently the IP address is uh, 1.1, but we want to set it up as a router. Of, uh, as an access point. So my main home network has a 10 range and 10.1 is the address of the main router and I'm going to configure this one at 10.4 because that's a free space. Uh, I'm going to give in the gateway. So the gateway is the IP of the router, my main router in the house. Then I'm going to disable DHCP. DHCP is the system that gives out the IP addresses. I'm going to press save and apply. So now the thing will apply the changes and restart and if I'm right it's going to be we can now find it at 10.4 just give it a second to show up again 10.4 it's not there yet I'm just gonna see if it shows up oh we have to change one thing of course because we were currently pointing to our reset router, which we were going to configure as an access point. So we're going to open network preferences again, and we're going to make sure that our IP addresses aren't given from the old router, but we're just going to receive it via DHCP. We're going to ask for a refresh, and here we'll see we get a it won't refresh via, D, via DHCP. Let's just set it up like this. Via DCP, renew the release, apply. 
Yes, there it is. So we're now on the Sun network again. My main router is giving out IP addresses. And if I'm right, we can find the OpenWRT system on 10.4. There it is. We're going to give in the password. What we've done now is that it functions as a regular access point. The only thing we still need to do is disable the firewall, which is done on the startup sequence. So if I disable it here, enabled, disabled, it will function as a regular uh, access point. It will be repeating its own Wi-Fi signal, which is currently that it's open WRT, and we don't want that. We want this to repeat our wireless uh, uh, network. So we're going to enable this. You will now find that I've got one main network device functioning as a router. So this one is giving out IP addresses. I've got one access point set up already, which is another one. Um, the router is giving out an SSID called Sun. And this one is giving an S out an SSID, which is called Sun as well. The thing is with access points with the same SSID, your device won't be able to recognize the difference in networks. So the only thing you have to make sure is that it operates on another frequency because they won't be mingling. So I've chosen 6, 11. So this, uh, the last one will go to 3. You have to make sure that the password settings and the SSID are equal. So the SSID is Sun. So here I'm going to call it a Sun. The mode is as an access point. For wireless security, I'm going to set up the same encryption type, which for this main device is WPA2, the cipher is auto. So I'm going to set it auto and I'm going to give it the key. And now I'm going to save and apply. And I've now configured an access point, which gives out the same wireless signal as my main router. And um, I've got now, uh, when I check my app, I use uh, an Android device and I've installed the app, which is called Wi-Fi Analyzer. I will now find three Wi-Fi signals, one from the main router, one from the device in, the, uh, in my living area, which is operating at channel six. And I'll find one device, which is operating at channel uh, let's see, channel 3. Um, maybe channel 3 wasn't the best option. If I look at my Wi-Fi settings now, they are overlapping a little, so I'm going to even put it down to 1. And this may be a strange thing, but this one's transmitting from the, uh, the uh, bedroom from one of the kids. And since this is a quite a strong Wi-Fi signal, and I don't need that much of a strong Wi-Fi signal uh, at my upper level, I'm going to tone the milliwatts down a little bit, just to make sure. We don't know exactly what the research says. It is near to a bed, but I still want it to tone, uh, tone down at least a little. So I'm going to press save and apply, and we're done. We've now got a very strong Wi-Fi network, which is operating in the entire home on the same SSID and device can just hop on the one that is strongest. So that's it. Have a good day. Cheers.